today we're going to talk about a topic that is in my short arm life. I hope you're excited. I am too, so let's get started. So I recently went to Edmonton and I do fly by myself. Um, it's not really a big deal. I've been doing it for a long time. And you know, sometimes you can get the nicest people or you can get the most jerky people. That's, there's no happy medium. No. There's, there's no in between. There's no gray. It's black or white. Nice or not nice. And it's annoying. It's thoroughly annoying. I don't use a wheelchair or a walker or any mobility device. When I book my flight, I don't ever say that I have a disability because there's really no box to check if you're, if you don't use a wheelchair. So it's, it is what it is. It's fine. The last time I flew out of Winnipeg airport, it just, it kind of annoyed me. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. So I usually only fly WestJet when I'm flying by myself. Um, Air Canada Jazz flights, if you fly to Edmonton, they land on the tarmac and you have to get down from the stairs and then walk and then go into Edmonton Airport through a walkway and more stairs. And they are really, really steep. And when you have short arms, you try to avoid things like that at all costs. So if I'm by myself, I, I never travel, travel in Air Canada flights. WestJet has really, really great customer service and when I check in, they usually take a look at the row that I'm sitting in and if they can see there might be a free row that has less people, just so the flight attendant can get to um, have easier access to me if I need help with anything or if I need to reach anything. They definitely take the time to either block out the seat that's next to me or change my seat and I really do appreciate that. So I always have really great experience when I go through the WestJet check-in people. But then you get to the airport security and I don't know if they don't have like sensitivity training or common sense, I have no idea. So this past time that I did travel, um, there is like a quick way accessible wheelchair aisle and then there's just the regular aisle. And it was a really, really busy time to fly when I was leaving. And so they just sent me on to the normal aisle, which is fine, I get it, that's, that's fine. But when I have a carry-on and my purse and holding my boarding pass and things like that, it just, standing in the line, it was just like, hmm, kind of over this. So when I finally got to my turn to put my bags up, I had to ask someone to help me um, with the tray who worked at the airport and they were fine about that. That was that's their job. They help people um, But usually there's someone in the background that sort of You know just pushes things along and moves the trays for everyone and This kind of goes back to my grocery shopping reaching things on the top shelf video um, The lady that was behind me. She was super nice. She asked me if I needed help. She pushed my tray along she got my uh, She helped me get my liquids bag out of my purse like she was really really nice I never wear jeans or anything metal ever when I go through security, so I don't like to beep. It makes me nervous um, just because I don't like the whole like, hmm, we have to scan or pat down this girl with short arms and I don't know what to do. And it just makes it awkward for everyone. So I try to limit the awkwardness as much as I can. But the thing that annoys me is that once my trays go through the security scanning thing, then they just shoot out and then it's sort of like, see you later. Nice to see ya. We've checked your bags and now you can go. And so I have to put all my bags back together. I have to put my liquids back in my purse. I gotta get them all back on my shoulder. And you know, just a little helping hand would be super duper nice. And again, the lady behind me, she was really awesome. She was like, okay, what do we have to do? What goes where? What can I help you with? And she was really, really awesome. So I do have faith in the world. They are, I always have someone nice that's behind me. It's just always been a thing. I've never really had someone mean that was traveling behind you know, me. Flights aren't cheap and you pay a lot of money for it. And one of the things is when you're going through airport security and you clearly have a disability, like just help me out, please. God. Once I got through airport security, it was better because then I go back to WestJet people and so when I get to the gate I pre-board, I get myself on the plane, I get situated, I always get a window seat so that the flight attendant can just help me get in. They help me do my seatbelt, they put my carry-on away. It's wonderful. It, I, I'm very appreciative. Um, so that was my 
journey to Edmonton. Um, in the past, I haven't really had the best experience in Edmonton Airport ever. Yeah, I don't really think. Yeah, I, I've never really had like outstanding, wonderful service in Edmonton Airport um, in terms of airport security. But this time there was a really nice man and he flagged down someone who was behind the security scanning people. And so she pushed my tray along and she made sure that, you know, it got through. And then when I went through the BP scanning thing and then my trays came through, she helped me get all my bags back together and my liquids back in my purse and sent me on my way. So unfortunately it does depend on who's working and the inconsistency is a little frustrating. I will say. But again, I always fly WestJet. They always have super helpful, amazing, wonderful customer service people that are always really friendly. Um, even on the plane when they come through and ask you for a snack and a beverage, you know, they'll dump the little cracker things into a cup so I don't have to open the package. And they'll, you know, check with me a few times during the flight to see if I need something or if I need to reach anything. They're just amazingly wonderful. So. There is some good with the bad, and unfortunately, airport security is a bummer. But you know, I am lucky enough that I get to travel by myself. Some people with disabilities can't, and they just, it's hard. It is a little frustrating when people are just standing there watching you get your stuff together after you've gotten everything scanned and they've checked everything, so that is kind of the frustrating part about it, but I understand, you know, there are protocols and blah blah blah, so I'm not really sure where the disconnect but is. If anybody from airport security is watching this, just be friendlier. You know, have some sensitivity. Um, it's not really that hard, so the strangers behind me are more than willing to help me, so the people on your payroll, just help, help out. Not, not hard, so. Um, I did have a great time in Edmonton. It was really a lot of fun and uh, I'm really glad that I got to go and thank you WestJet for being so wonderful and delightful and yeah, so mm -hmm. So that was Talk Tuesday. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye everyone!